growing up in Friendswood, I was like any other young kid, I imagine. We ran around, we did our thing. I remember the space program going on. I remember many of the other parents were involved in the space program, but I can't say it was a focus for me. You would have people over the house and this is Mr. Cernan, this is Mr. Armstrong, like, yeah, whatever. Can I go play now? Um, <laughs> I did not appreciate that when I was very young. That's not surprising. So Apollo 11 landed, I was three, so I don't have any recollection of that. However, I do remember years later when you were part of the Apollo Soyuz test project and you were a program manager and you would invite people from NASA to our house for parties and such. And you loved those oysters from Galveston Bay, which I did not like, but you would invite the Russians. The Russians were in town, the Soviets I should say, would come to our house and I knew there was a party coming up because mom would make me clean my room and mow the grass <laughs> and get the house ready for company. Yep. But I do remember in particular, one of the Russians uh, engineers came to visit and the Russians always bring gifts when they go to someone's house. They're, they're bring, very good at it. They are, they bring flowers to the lady, they bring gifts to the children and one of them brought a little model tank. He helped me assemble that that night. He'd rather do that I guess than be at the party. <laughs> But interestingly enough, many years later, when I was a flight director on the International Space Station program, I got to work with that same engineer. Same guy. It was Victor Belagoff, and uh, he was there at our house when I was six or eight or whenever that was, yep. and then I got to work with him during my career. Right. That, that's a wonderful story. Uh, I enjoyed the time I had uh, working with him. And, yep. uh, and, you know, it was a kind of spooky when I first heard about it, Kraft calls me up and says, Lenny, uh, I want you to get your stuff ready. But I'm sending you over to Moscow. <laughs> and I'm thinking, oh, my goodness, what, what did that, you do wrong? <laughs> what, is, what is that about? Now, you know, something else happened there, Bri. I, I worried about how my being busy and going places and being away from home, how that affected you guys. Mm -hmm. And we actually had a discussion of that one time. I don't know if you remember this, but uh, you, you guys to three boys and a daughter. Our crazy sister. Yes, crazy sister, uh, said to me, oh no, we were happy you did that. We know you were really working on something really important, so we were just proud you were doing it, that's all. We didn't lose anything, we didn't miss any time. So you guys, help me out with that, because uh, otherwise I could be fretting about. Well, it's because mom was there taking care of us. And yes. She did a great job yes. raising us yes. and you were That's, around they're, some. They're the young some heroes of Apollo. Oh yeah, the moms? Yes. Definitely. Yes, and, they really are. And I did go, get to go see, I think it was the Apollo Soyuz vehicle launch from the Cape, KSC as we call it today. And that was a tremendous experience um, for me. I still remember those rockets going and that was the little rocket, the 1B, not the <laughs> 5. Right. Well, I was eight or so, I can't remember. But I remember those rockets going, how impressive that was. You know, in my time of life, I, I reflect back on how it was. And in many, many respects, you could not ask for a better set of circumstances. And we had in our management a set of people, you can't call it management, you got to call it leadership. The uh, George Lowe and Dr. Gears and, and uh, Chris, they were just a fantastic team. And uh, it was beautiful to watch, and uh, that was my life. Oh, yeah. And we stuck to it. This is Houston. Say again, please. Yes, sir. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. We think we have uh, the situation in control. We the funny thing is, I thought it was going to go on forever. Yeah. I really did. And the shuttle program, you know, gave hope of that, even when we get done flying the Apollos. But somehow, it gradually lost something of what it once had. And I know that the people today are looking to being able to recover that. Yes, we and are. Become, and become one with it and proud of it and so on. Uh, we just need to go do it yep. and go fly. And that's what we're working to do. My role and everyone's role, there are a lot of us engineers out there trying to make it happen. Good.